Today, we're learning about the contributions a black woman from Grand Rapids made to the medical world. Loni Clinton Gordon helped to refine an already existing vaccine for whooping cough. At the time, the disease was still killing thousands of children and adults every year. News 8's Whitney Burney shares her story tonight. In front of the MSU Research Center are three women who helped to create that vaccine. You may not have noticed because they're all in bronze that the one here on the end, Lonnie Clinton Gordon, was actually a black woman who made massive strides in the medical field that would last for years to come. Born in 1915 in Arkansas, Loni Clinton Gordon soon found herself living in Grand Rapids. She attended South High School, went to Michigan State University, then moved south. After discrimination forced her to leave a job in Virginia, she moved back to Grand Rapids where she would meet doctors Pearl Kendrick and Grace Elderling, two women who began developing a vaccine for whooping cough in 1932. They have an effective vaccine. They're looking to make it even better. And to do that, you have to isolate a strand of the bacillus. Clinton Gordon was hired in 1944 to make the vaccine more effective against new strains of the deadly virus, a task difficult for even the top scientists. She isolated the particular strand of um, pertussis, which was then used to make even more potent vaccines. She said, it's a wonder I still have eyes. Pertussis is a very, very persnickety organism. GVSU professor Carolyn Shapiro Shapin interviewed Clinton Gordon in 1998 about that work. Because thousands of children, as I said, were dying by the day in those days because they did not have any help. They needed a vaccine, but they couldn't find get a vaccine. An audio clip of that interview now lives at the Grand Rapids Public Library. Her story basically for me is that when labs hire people according to talent, regardless of who they are, but when you hire according to talent, you get talent. Mm -hmm. And therefore the vaccine is made better because of her work. Clinton Gordon is now one of three women permanently carved in downtown Grand Rapids. These are women who the honor was the recognition of their peers and the recognition that they were doing something important to save children's lives. And these are women, and I'm not the first to say this, who would have been very surprised to find themselves in bronze. Clinton Gordon did die in 1999, but she'll forever be marked in the history books. She was inducted into the Women's Hall of Fame in 2000. Reporting here on the Medical Mile, Whitney Burney, News 8. Well, we are working on a special broadcast for next week, celebrating black history in West Michigan. We hope you'll join us next Thursday night at 7, right here on Wood TV 8.